Hi everyone, my name is Sharon O'Boyle. I've been a software tester for the past eight years in IBM in the west of Ireland. And my topic for today is how I use San Francisco Depot to learn and explore about applications. San Francisco Depot comes from James Black. Back was designed by him originally as part of his heuristic test strategy model. So what's a heuristic? James defined a heuristic as a fallible way of solving a problem. Fallible means it can fail, so it may or may not solve your problem. You need to use a heuristic and uh, choose your heuristics wisely and use them with skill in order to solve your problems. James gives an example of a carpenter's hammer as a heuristic. So a carpenter can use a hammer to solve some of their problems if it's used skillfully, but it won't solve all of their problems. It will, they will need other tools. Other examples of heuristics are rules of thumb and guide words. San Francisco Depot are an example of guide word heuristics. It's called San Francisco Depot because it helps you remember the guide words, which are structure, function, data, interfaces, platform, operations, and time. So these are all aspects of the product that you would consider testing. So when you're exploring and learning the product, you want to co cover all the aspects, not only those that are part of the product itself, but also its relationship with things outside of it, and especially the invisible aspects, which can easily be forgotten because they're not uh, seen on the UI, but, but are just as important to consider. So in order to see how to apply San Francisco Depot, we'll use an example of a file upload feature. So we're talking about something similar to what we have here on Google Drive. You might have a button on the UI, you choose a file to upload, and you see the upload in progress, and you see that the upload has been successful. So that's the example. For this case, we're going to have this file upload feature added to an existing application with an upload button on the UI, and you can only upload a limited set of files, MP3, MP4, or MOV. So to use San Francisco Depot, you look at each of the aspects in turn, and you see what's relevant for you. So for structure, this is the physical product. Each of the aspects are divided into um, subcategories. So here for structure, it's code, hardware, non-executable files, and collateral. So you want to look at each of these in turn and see, is it relevant for this feature? If it is relevant, we'll take a look at it. And if it's not relevant, we'll ignore. So for this case, we're going to ignore hardware, non-executable files, and collateral because they're not as relevant. Most relevant part here is code. For code, we want to go and look at the GitHub, check out the GitHub branches check and see what modules have been added, if any of the old ones have been modified or removed, and how they interact together. The code also would apply on the UI side. We want to see how the UI has been designed and how the backend end is supposed to work, and see if there are any risks associated with all of this. So that's what I would look at when I'm looking at structure for this particular example. Function. So for function, um, there's a lot more than just the, the core functionality of the application or the feature that needs to be looked at. So here are other categories that could be looked at as well to see if they apply. So in terms of this example, perhaps uh, one that's important could be security related. So for this, we could look at, for example, um, is the data protected? Is it encrypted when you're uploading or is it encrypted while it's been stored on wherever it's been stored? Can all users upload? files, um, or do they need a specific permission? If they do uh, need a permission, are unauthorized, unauthorized users prevented from uploading files? And are the proper error, is the proper error handling around that? And you want to look more into error, error handling as well here and make sure that all the errors are handled gracefully with proper error messages for the user and also logging. So that's the general process. You want to look at all of the different other aspects as well and see what, which ones of those are relevant and look into them more if they are. For data, we'll give one example here. Um, so we, obviously the input here are the three different types of files that you can put in and maybe wrong types of files as well uh, to see that they're prevented from being uploaded. But then what about output? So what happens after you upload the, the file? Can you see them displayed on a list on the UI? Can you preview them or execute them from within the UI? Can you download the files from the UI or can you access them um, in the storage location? These are all the types of questions that you could ask um, and then to look into the other categories as well. So let's just quickly go through 
the other uh, categories in San Francisco Depot. For interfaces here, we're, we're, this is in particular the user interface, a UI. So we want to look at the, the look and feel of that. How usable is it? Is accessibility um, a requirement? And what's, for example, the API that, API that is used behind the scenes to um, implement the upload uh, feature? For platform, an example here would be what kind of hardware is supported. Um, so it's a UI here, it, um, are mobile devices supported? If so, um, how does the UI look on a mobile native app versus a mobile web app versus a desktop browser? Um, if I shrink the browser, is the option still going to be um, visible to the user? So just these are some of the questions I would ask in terms of platform. Operations about how the product will be used, so uh, not only about the users, different types of users and different personas and common use cases, we also need to make sure we cover disfavored use. So, for example, hackers, are they prevented from uploading malware to the application? Um, users can be make mistakes. Um, will the application uh, handle this with, gracefully without crashing? And the last option to look at is time. Um, one area here could be about concurrency. Concurrency is if multiple users are uploading multiple files at the same time, can it handle this uh, without crashing? And are there um, any issues that arise if you try to do this? There are other aspects as well to look at here in terms of input, output, fast and slow, and changing rates like um, and interruptions. Like if the, if the network goes down, what way is that handled? Can it be handled? in the right way. So in summary, how do I use San Francisco Depot? I use it to explore the product and feature, and that helps me to figure out what aspects of the application to test. We go through each of the elements individually, ignore what's not relevant, and then we gather everything, information that we have so far, and we create a mind map from that, and use it as a collaboration tool later with the team and other stakeholders. Benefits I see of using San Francisco Depot is that it can be adapted to different contexts. So you can just ignore whatever is not relevant for your particular situation. And um, also you can add other categories that might be relevant and specific only for your context. So what I find for me is it brings a lot of focus on my exploring and learning and also on the subsequent co collaboration. The confidence it gives me is that I know this broad coverage and that I've probably uh, more than likely covered all the important risks and especially that the invisible aspects are not forgotten. So that's it for me today. Um, I hope uh, to con connect with you later. If you have any more questions, you can take a look at my website and email me um, or connect with me on LinkedIn. I'll be happy to connect. Thank you so much to Mahesh and the Testflix team for the opportunity to speak today and thank you all for listening.